And uh, what we would like to go to do is to compare and maybe to discuss your specificities and uh, your national methodologies and the way you can work well together and make us feel it. Okay, let's start with you, Mr. Soderholm, please. Because since uh, 2017 now, your agency, UCARE, has evaluated research and um, on very specific criteria. And criteria are uh, really the thing we are going to discuss together now. So could you remind us the way you work, which are your criteria, and if you still want to stick with them okay, for the future? <laughs> thank you, and thank you for being invited today. I really appreciate coming here. Uh, yes, we have a institutional assessment system where we assess the quality assurance systems of the universities. And this assessment has two legs, one going for education and how they secure quality and the degrees they offer. And the other leg is how they secure the quality of the research that they are currently mm -hmm. organizing. And since it's an institutional assessment, we do not evaluate the research content itself but we do evaluate how well the university assure that the research that they organize are of good quality. <laughs> so it's a system level uh, evaluation or assessment that we do. And the criteria that we have used are, well, since when we started this work, we of course discovered that there is no European standard and guidelines for how to evaluate research. So we collaborated with the Swedish Rectors Conference and they, uh, in a joint effort among the universities, they, they um, presented or they created a, a sort of standard and guidelines for how to assess research quality. Uh, and that, could, that was later then used by us to create criteria for our assessments. So in a way we, we use the framework that came from the universities on a requirement level that was accepted by the universities. And then this was the foundation for-, for which, which means that universities are responsible for what they do. Yes. And you are, you are controlling their control some way. Exactly, it's, 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 I would say it's a founding principle of what we do that the, that the responsibility lies mm -hmm. with the university. We are not there to sort of take that, uh, take that um, responsibility away from the university. We are there to secure that they are actually assuming that responsibility in a way that is actually efficient and, and leads to, to quality improvement. And of course, you stay close to them. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, that's one system. And as we, as we will discover, there are some other which are very different. We talk about working together or all, all the, the agencies later on. But at first, I would like to compare with another one. Let's say Professor Riccio, per favore. Um, the way, the same question the way you work in Italy, and um, maybe the frequency every five years, I think there is an assessment, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. listen Nick, to you. Many thanks for the invitation to Professor Goulon and for the other organizer. Uh, thanks a lot for the question. I think it's very important to compare our experience and to share the best solution, mm -hmm. even the perspective that Professor Goulon said before, to make proposals to to perform our system in Italy, our agency, our agency is, is ten years old now, is, is a young agency. It's a young one, but is devoted to different function, and one of them is research evaluation. We evaluate uh, products of research coming from all the researchers of our institution. Uh, this year we have evaluated about 200,000 products and uh, uh, we evaluate even institution with the assurance uh, quality program and, uh, and the, we evaluate uh, the requisites to, to take part to commission for professor and uh, we evaluated even doctoral courses is a very important activity. Um, we have uh, had three exercises of a VQR, the evaluation of research, and the results of uh, this activity are used from the ministry to distribute public funds to university. About the 30% of public funds are distributed under the results of, uh, of our activity of evaluation. Uh, public funds to university are distributed with a historical method, 
to the standard course for each student. And a third part of them are distributed under the results of VQR. So it's very important. Now we are concluding our the third exercise of our evaluation. So Italian universities are waiting for the results that would be used for the next year, even for, for the Minister of Education and Research. Okay, but um, Anvo is currently possessing the, the results, you say, um, taking into account various parameters. And uh, could, you say, could you tell some example of these parameters on you, you're working on? We evaluate uh, products of research coming from institution. Each institution offers some products, uh, three or four mm -hmm. maximum. And we evaluate, and there are, we are a group evaluator uh, that are distrib distributed, divided according to their uh, scientific interest. So we have a group of evaluators and they evaluate. Uh, and of course, we give them uh, criteria to evaluate them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see about these criteria. Maybe we could compare them again. Um, let's let's uh, proceed with you, uh, Petr Noskiewicz. Thank you very much for the... Same way, we are still comparing your systems yeah, <laughs> before you. discussing them. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll open it. You don't have to do anything. Thank you very much uh, for invitation to this discussion, to this round table. I am a member of the Accreditation Bureau in the Czech Republic and we are discussing now the evaluation of the research activities at the university. Uh, both activities, the delivery of the study programs and the research are the main activities at the universities, but each of them is in the Czech Republic evaluated by different body. Uh, we are responsible for the evaluation of the study programs, of the teaching process, and for the evaluation of the research activities at the university is responsible the Council for Research and Development and Innovation, which is totally different body from this accreditation bureau in which I am a member. And this body is subordinate to the, today we can say, the, to the Ministry for Science and Research. And uh, they have the methodology, how they are able to evaluate, to assess, to do the assessment of, the, of all research organizations in the, the Czech Republic, not only of the universities, but also of the working places of the Czech Academy of Science or other institutions because the companies, they can have the development centers, research centers, all these institutions which are supported from the budget for the research mm -hmm. must be evaluated or, and are evaluated also by this body. You mean there is a group uh, responsible for evaluation? How many are there? I Sorry? mean, so there is a group responsible for evaluation inside the, how many members? Uh, the the council has the, the, the council has the chairperson. This is the ministry, mm -hmm. and seventeen members. Okay, and they have a lot of panelists, and they have a lot of evaluators, and the 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 whole science in the Czech Republic is split in more divisions, and each this era has the panelists and group of evaluators which are focused on the specific area. Okay, as we see, there is a complexity for each country. Another situation with, with Germany, with, of course, federal states, and that makes things, again, even things worse. different, even, even worse. worse. Even more even complicated, worse. I think. Maybe even <laughs> not, more complicated, not sure. that much. They are yes. not worse in Germany, but uh, they are different as compared to my uh, of course. Uh, pre speakers. Um, and it's, of course, not easy to compare now uh, on the spot these four yes. systems. Uh, when I tell you something about the German system, um, several things are possible. I, I've mentioned a few. First of all, we have uh, about 10 agencies in Germany, which have different tasks and which are not related to fields or to uh, uh, federal states. So it's a really, a, a, from the outside, a strange mixture in a sense. There are only two agencies which do also research evaluations. This, this is, to my knowledge, uh, CEWA in Hanover. In Eberlack, in sitting in Mannheim, Baden-Württemberg. The others are doing only, uh, only uh, uh, in quotation marks, uh, uh, evaluations of, of study programs, so to, call, so to say, accreditations, um, program accreditation and system accreditation, as we call it in Germany. So this makes already a difference. Um, 
with respect to these agencies. When it comes to research evaluation in Germany, it's also different, rather different from the other countries. First of all, Germany is not a centralized country, I would say, as, as a know. start. Mm -hmm. uh, and this means, for example, there is no obligatory research evaluation for universities. There is only obligatory research evaluation for non-university uh, research institutions like Max Planck, Fraunhofer, and others. And this is done not by any of the agencies. This is done by the uh, Science and Humanities Council Wissenschaftsrat. That makes a big difference. And, we should insist on that. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. of course, there are other research evaluations. These are done on request. Mm -hmm. So if any university or institute institution I don't know, language center, we had these cases, or uh, Johannes Rauf uh, Research Center or Innovation Alliance in Baden-Württemberg. They want to have an evaluation often together with the ministry because they are, say, administered these uh, research uh, agglomerations. Then they come to an agency of their choice. And uh, basically, they have two of them when it, when it is about research. Ziva uh, or Evalak, and they ask, ask us, mm. ask us uh, how we could do that. When it comes to the criteria, I would say, uh, of course, uh, it's a complex um, field that in the end leads to the evaluation criteria that are actually used. Uh, from the bottom up side, uh, Evalak's uh, um, policy is to have tailor made evaluations which does not mean that the basic criteria are free for discussion of non-experts, but it means the evaluation must always be, um, uh, must always have a clear goal uh, uh, and a, um, say, um, concentrated um, focus so that it is manageable, solvable uh, in the time and with the money we have and so forth. In addition to that, and this is uh, done with uh, together with the evaluant, so the, the, mm -hmm. the victim of the evaluation, if you want, uh, uh, in an open discussion, but uh, not, of course, uh, having open for, the, for, for debate basic yeah. accepted uh, criteria, like evaluation standards from German Evaluation Society, like research core data set, evaluation guidelines of the Wissenschaftsrat, mm -hmm. and so on. We hear that you some kind critical about the system, are you? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for that question. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, it's not true. It's not uh, supposed to be. It's not true. I think uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm basically not critical of that system. Although there is some criticism here and there once in a while, yeah. also in, in other contexts. For instance, I'm talking about voluntary. Well, universities yeah. have to volunteer to be. To um, be evaluated, I am, right? I'm, I'm very much in favor of uh, universities uh, as a, say, a republic of free scholars. Uh, I Freedom. also wrote about that, and uh, this is very important. I mean, there, there, there are much issues around that. Uh, this is very important. Uh, this has also a tradition, uh, and this has also uh, a foundation in our, um, uh, how to say, um, Grundgesetz basic by, by foundation uh, constitution very important uh, freedom of research and freedom of uh, teaching including learning because every teacher is a learner and so forth so it's very important and also used and referred to uh, and therefore um, I would say there is there are big arguments for uh, voluntariness to some respect uh, uh, in addition one should uh, I think mention that research in itself uh, depends on freedom and is also a uh, an assurance of freedom in many ways, and has a lot a lot of tradition in that respect. Right. So it's not in need it's not in need of uh, being controlled every every time uh, once again. That would be my answer. It's okay. a bit different for learning and teaching, in my view. Uh, That's right. That's why no. we can make it a, a difference. What What would you say about uh, this presentation about the the German system? I guess you know it and us on the home. Well, as you said, the German system also includes a moment of competition among the agencies, maybe in relation to the universities, which we don't have. So we, we could sort yeah. of uh, design a system that, that would be valid for 100% of the institutions. And we know that on beforehand. And that creates a different starting point, I guess, from, from, from what, you are, what you are telling us. Uh, and then the, the sort of the level of analysis is sort of the different thing 
I, I like the approach where a university could sort of ask to be accredited for a certain area or for a certain research environment. That, that is something that they can use later on, I guess, for funding or for finding partnerships uh, abroad. And we don't have that component in our system, uh, which would which would be something maybe to to look into. Otherwise, we are we are on the sort of the level, you know, one one layer up, so to say, in, in terms of where the analysis stays, mm -hmm. uh, and and that is a. Thomas Lieber, no. Yeah, I could add to this. I mean, we also have this uh, system institutional level thing, yeah. uh, not so much in research, but it's not excluded. It's usually incorporated in the accreditation in the evaluation criteria. We don't call research evaluation accreditation formally. In my view, evaluation is the umbrella term, but uh, mm -hmm. this is right. open for right. debate. Maybe accreditation in a German context, say on the official level, is only program accreditation, so uh, um, learning and teaching accreditation. The rest is called audit, audit of quality management or evaluation of research. This is just the wording. I mean, yeah. there are some misunderstandings sometimes. Yeah. So I guess there are a lot of similarities in the yeah, I think, in the end. I mean, the, one difference when, when you um, told us that you have a centralized system in one agency and so forth, you must think that uh, Sweden has uh, maybe less inhabitants than Baden-Württemberg. So if you compare to Baden-Württemberg, <laughs> it's on the same level. We have more inhabitants in Baden-Württemberg, and then, and then yeah, we have fine. eight times more, mm -hmm. which makes it different, of course, uh, for one agency in this whole federal state organized country would be very strange, maybe. Another difference, maybe, but you don't just tell me if I, if I make a mistake, but it's the link to the market. I, I don't think to the market. I don't think you don't you all have the same um, with your agencies, do you? What would you say about that? I mean, are you are you more linked to the, for the evaluation? Of course, I'm talking about assessment. Uh, which mm -hmm. type of market do you refer to? Uh, I, I mean, don't know. If we, now, with economy, and spontaneous say, answer would be uh, in aggregation. Uh, in, in, in the German view, there is no fr free market. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really. I mean, there is a competition, of course, but it's always hidden. In a sense, the prices are not. Uh, the prices are one issue. I mean for a market, they are not uh, transparently communicated. Uh, uh, the quality, uh, I mean, the criteria say are more or less accepted by all, but you, as always, you can have, you can work different with uh, the, mm -hmm. the same criteria. For example, if you apply the same criteria in Saudi Arabia, things may turn out differently. I mean, this is a storytelling uh, narrative uh, thing. So uh, in that sense, it's, it's not a market for accreditation of study programs mm -hmm. and for research. Yeah, um, also not in that sense because it's not that big because uh, uh, it's only um, voluntary. And um, yeah, I mean, by chance that some, some university is doing th something. I think most of the research evaluation in Germany takes place via the Science Council, this non-university research um, agglomerations, and the rest takes uh, place a lot over other uh, paths, mm -hmm. like taking part in rankings, uh, applying for, uh, sending in proposals, applying for them. This is also part of evaluation uh, uh, and so forth, uh, prolonging uh, the projects and so forth. Yeah. Okay, of course, as you, as you say, Germany is well, it's very different from one country to another because the political system, as you also said, so because it has changed at yours. Um, what would you say, Antonio Riccio, that uh, the priorities for, the, for, the, for this research, for this evaluation, what would, what would there be? We have been talking about social topics yeah, yeah. this first, morning. First all, but... I, I would like to say that yeah. our differences depend on the lack of... Uh, European criteria to evaluate research. Mm -hmm. that I think even the morning you discussed about the, some proposal to uh, modify ESG, and we don't have ESG devoted to research evaluation. That is a very important perspective I think we have to discuss because you have a lot of differences between our system. And of course, we have just discussing it in Italy how to promote uh, evaluation of research to promote quality of uh, our institution. Uh, we have many challenges, uh, of course. One of, of them, I think, is the challenges of, 
of the world in which university are, are, are working, are inserted. We have digitalization, uh, environmental challenges. We have many changes, uh, of course, we have to discuss. And we have the, the, the need to improve social responsibility of our institution. We are working in the field to uh, evaluate research under the perspective of evaluation of the third mission. That doesn't mean just how to transfer results of research. But I think it's very important to consider, uh, even especially in this period, the social responsibility of our institution. During this morning, you said that before um, Professor Goulon and other colleagues, how it's important to insert values in our uh, of course activity mm. that is not only uh, assessment activity, is how to promote our system. And we can promote our system under the perspective of promoting values. And I think that we have the opportunity to, to do this uh, uh, using, using uh, results of research and, you, and uh, uh, making some reforms of our activity of evaluation. <laughs> We are working this way, we are discussing in our governing board, we are discussing with other institutions, and I think it's very important, a uh, big discussion like this. Mm -hmm. Another question maybe for you, uh, for you, Petre Noskevich. Um, what would be the, what would be in further, I mean, publication, is it still something really at uh, the first row, or do you have other criteria now? This is also part of our discussion, and, and I can feel differences from one country to another, what would it be with yours? The evaluation of the research institution is based on uh, more criterion, yes. And of course, the publications are one of them. Maybe from some point of view, very important criterion, but not only this criterion is evaluated, yes. Uh, for example, the uh, research institution, the university has submitted by the evaluation uh, list and also the publications, at least 10 publications, the most important publications achieved in the evaluated period. Typically, it is five years in the past. And if the institution is greater, the number of the compulsory submitted uh, publish uh, outputs for the evaluation depends on the amount of the achieved money of the money yes, you can... which were achieved from different donators for the research. Uh, we can say that for 10 million crowns, at least one public one output must be declared. Yes, of course, the number of the outputs is much more higher, but uh, for the evaluation should be submitted the best papers in the best journals, also patents, if they have some special technology and introduce technology, all this is accepted. Mm -hmm. And there are, there is the first group of the, uh, the of the results, and later also the culture of the organization of the steering of the research activities at the university is evaluated, the availability. Uh, the strategy of the research policy at the university, etc., and in, we can discuss in more details each criterion. Okay, about publication, something, some, someone wants to add something. <clears throat> yes, Professor yeah. Rick, uh, in, in our exercise of evaluation, we used still uh, the peer review method to evaluate. Mm -hmm. uh, product of research, but and we have information about the bibliometric system. So it's a mixed method and it, of course it's different on the, the, the basis of the uh, subject of, of research, the product that the, 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 the institution have offered to our evaluation. Yeah. So I think this is very important as a perspective of uh, to, to share our experience, to compare our method of evaluation. And we are discussing even about the differences between different methods and different uh, products of research, uh, articles, uh, books, uh, uh, and other products, of course, depends on the uh, scientific area of the research. Yeah, maybe a few additional remarks, hopefully not uh, repetitions of what was already said. 
Uh, first, uh, of course, publications are an important issue. And remain. At least and remain an important right. issue. Citation rates also, in my view. Uh, but uh, qualitative indicators are also important. This is a, a big field of uh, work uh, that should be taken into, into account and uh, into, into work, so to say. We can say something about this later. But I would like to first to add that uh, a typical a research core data set would also uh, uh, contain the issue of promotion of young talents. So educating, edu uh, educating researchers, of course, educating for employability and educating for personality development. These are three issues which are, for example, present even in German program accreditation and system accreditation, at least on the paper. I'm not completely sure whether this is also always really respected in the processes because it is complicated, of course, especially personality development, but it's very important. Um, we, we have this uh, mention of this aspect uh, this morning. Uh, what is a university? What, what are uh, its tasks? Uh, the, the Republic of Free Scholars contains, for example, uh, the ability to give PhDs, to do personality development somehow systematically. This is an issue that should be taken into, uh, should be taken care of, uh, education for democracy, et cetera, et cetera. To, to add two points, patents and spin-offs, for example, third-party funded projects, research infrastructures are also regularly uh, contents of research evaluations, depending on the case. But they are there. There are uh, there are general criteria uh, that are folded out in questionnaire guidelines and used for the evaluations. Yes, about publication, of course, we we all have in mind independence, transparency, which is very important those days in your, in Europe, as we know. Um, and there's so the home same question for you about the role of the publication now and all what's around. We would we would. Uh expect the university to uh, have checked their own bibliometrics. Uh, mm -hmm. We know that most of them actually do that. Uh, we would expect them also to have some sort of external review of the research operation. Most of the universities do their own panel reviews using the bibliometrics and the peer review to get a combined assessment of the research. So do you mean they do it now or they, they should they, do it more? No, or? they do it. And, they do it. And we are there to see that what, whatever result that comes out of that is also okay. taken care of and, and sort of converted into measurements in order to improve the quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in our system, that, that, that is an expectation that we put on the universities. We don't check the publications. We expect them to do that uh, on, their own, on their own for their research environments. Mm -hmm. Sure. I could add that that's a good example and maybe a, a, a pilot for, for the German context. In Germany, uh, since uh, about 10 years, a research core data set has been developed. Uh, and we have now a, a new, a new, a new initiative uh, commission um, installed by the Wissenschaftsrat, which um, is obliged to, within the next six years, for the first part, to make this core, research core data set more prominent, uh, to to develop it further, international connect uh, connectability and so forth, uh, and to to convince universities on a voluntary level to use it, also to 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 convince other data users to use it, and this is still uh, yeah not a problem, but uh, there is a deficiency because some use it a bit. Every university, I think in Germany, every, every university I know has, of course, a core data set for research, but they have their own. And it's not always the same with their neighbors. And they don't want to tell others what they really have and this so on and how they use it. This is uh, typical for Germany, I would say, still more or less. That there are now two pilot projects, for example, one in Northern Westphalia, where, where eight universities have come together by initiative of the ministry uh, and also supported with money to um, together use this research court data set and change their own data sets or their many data sets they often have at the places to have a more um, more harmonious uh, standardized approach. And this would, in the, in the optimistic case, would end up in a sense uh, what you are saying that they have their research core data set, which is more than a performance indicator set. Uh, and 
what that could be put on top of this, uh, and they can then uh, check, so to say, their own uh, self-evaluation uh, of their research um, progress. Now we have seen all your situations, different situations, of course, exposed, and thank you for that. Um, let's try to see where are the obstacles, if there are, and uh, which would be the good ways to, to work together, maybe more than you used to be. If possible, I don't know. And maybe my first question would be to to Pet Noskevich, because of course we have different countries, different situations. And uh, what what would be the best for you working together with the other agencies from uh, Europe? Maybe some are more experimented than uh, other not. I think that what would you like? I think that it is important to uh, discuss this topic together with other countries to be a little bit more. Comp uh, comparable yeah. with the results and for me it was very big surprise that in Germany the uh, research at the university is, is not evaluated from outside yes, yes I didn't know it before yes this is big surprise for me this is news for me and uh, I am thinking about the topic about the applied University of Applied Sciences because the, the so-called Fachhochschule in Germany uh, I think that they are doing also research and sometimes we call it in the Czech Republic, we call it, this is the mostly applied research, not the basic research, but the applied research. And this is also very important, especially at the engineering schools. And uh, this is one topic which is evaluated also uh, in the Czech Republic by the evaluation in the so-called social relevance. Uh, relevance, how the outputs of the research are important for the industry, for the society, for the uh, imp in improving of the uh, life of the normal people, etc. And I think that, for example, the uni as I visited in the former time more universities in Germany and also the University of Applied Sciences, and I have the experience that they do the research, maybe more in this direction of applied uh, applied research yeah for but, sure but, said yes 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 but, but i think yeah. this is also important in the whole society of course. and for the grew up yes and uh, maybe the relevance between the between the value of this and this output from the research work can be the, interesting this is an important point <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir, Marie, sure, sure. Uh, one remark is uh, the research evaluation. Uh, uh, research evaluation in Germany is done from the outside, but it's on a, for the universities. It's on a voluntary level. I mean, on a, on a case to case basis when you are, uh, yeah, ask for it. But it's done from the outside, usually. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is then really called an evaluation? Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing, uh, working together, I come to that, uh, come back to that was um, your remark was about uh, uh, universities of applied sciences. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a, a tricky, complicated problem, uh, because uh, on the one on one hand, uh, I think Germany is quite proud and not always on 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 um, say uh, that that's arguable uh, for its uh, dual system having these research universities, non-university research and University of Applied Science and Industry. And these are often working together. There are, for example, these uh, uh, Baden-Württemberg Innovation Alliance, which is really uh, an alliance between universities, University of Applied Sciences and industry, ranging from applied research, doing PhDs at a University of Applied Science, and also going into small series production uh, of high-tech products like high-tech optics and so on. Uh, so. Things happen there. Uh, nevertheless, um, research at University of Applied Sciences is written for a few years now in the higher education law laws, I must say, 16 in Germany. But in practice, it's difficult because most of the professors at University of Applied Sciences have 16 hours teaching per week. So that's impossible to do research then. So this, this is still something uh, in a process. There is another issue. PhDs are research for universities. Applied sciences want to have them. There is now, a, a, say, a compromise. You need one professor from a university, then together you can give a PhD, even if it's done at the University of Applied Science. I don't know if this is a good solution. We'll see. So there are a lot of uh, obstacles there. It's not, uh, it's not the case, I would say, that in Germany anybody really um, 
underestimates the applied research done at universities of applied science. This is not the case because we think it's very important and it's very much integrated into the whole system and it's, and it's really very important. Uh, mm. But nevertheless, there are these, these obstacles and tensions, some coming from tradition, um, uh, and, and some, resisting. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> resistance, yeah, and uh, professorship at universities is something different, you know. Yeah, that's so, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say about Italy, uh, Antonio Ulicchio? Not our, um, talking about this PhD program, you also have questions about that, right? Uh, yeah, in our experience in Italy, I think that uh, evaluatory research has been very important results because the quality uh, of, of our re uh, research and even the production, the quantity of the production has been increased uh, during the, this year, the 10 years of uh, AMBUR activities. Uh, it's very important even the results under the perspective of re recruitment. We have evaluated the products of young researcher and uh, we have seen that the quality has been raised during this area. These years, but so, also the so, so evaluatory research, research just as you were evaluate the research could be useful for the quality of the system, mm -hmm. sure. uh, and I think that we can share experiences that are very different, but uh, but the, the model to, uh, of evaluate research uh, could be inserted in our uh, activities and our criteria activities. Of course, you can discuss about methods about, about the differences between system, we can discuss how to evaluate doctoral courses. We have started this, this activity. Yes, I know you have. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that the model is important for the quality of the system. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, my question was just that research is also evolving. I mean, it's very different now, and we haven't said it or just mentioned it like that, but uh, there are different opportunities. There are different challenges too and uh, increasing digitalization data and so, so that makes it very different to evaluate too. And of course you're concerned. Of course, there, there is not a unique model mm -hmm. to evaluate research. Uh, evaluation depends on the period in which evaluation is, is, is made up. So you have to discuss even how the changes of, of our time of could be product effects on our method of evaluation. I think that uh, artificial intelligence, we have started the project to use artificial intelligence to, uh, uh, to choose evaluator. It's an experience, of course, but I think that uh, the digitalization, new te technology could be an uh, instrument for our activity of evaluation. That's right. But we were talking, remember, this morning about transdisciplinarity. This is also something new and maybe it makes things different for evaluation. Or no, I'm just asking. And that's sort of home. Uh, yes. But, that's that's uh, part of the. <laughs> but one should remember that uh, there is a lot of data in the research system. Mm -hmm. uh, scientists are being evaluated all the time for promotion or for publication and for funding and we have uh, in, in our system there is 60 percent competitive funding out of the total research funding at the universities so senior professors are applying for money all the time and being evaluated uh, and one thing that that we are looking into when we ask the universities is you know how do you make use of all this data that is already in the system giving uh, indications on, of the quality of the research that you are actually organizing uh, and since um, uh, the, the, um, the, the science councils, everything they do is public, so the universities could retrieve their own data and compare it to any other university in terms of how successful they are. So there is a lot of data uh, in the system uh, on all levels. Uh, so I, I think, you know, in order to be efficient, we should use that data uh, more deliberately and, and uh, more often. Mm -hmm. There is a question. Uh, sorry, I'm, my mic was better. Um, there is a question along with mine just before. Uh, it said it's in English, but I translated. Okay, the criteria that you uh, use to evaluate the research, like publication, organization, strategy, political, uh, research politics, and research politics, and so, are they adapted uh, to the human social sciences? That's exactly the question I was I was making. Or are they mostly uh, dedicated to evaluate the, the science, like we call strong sciences, like scientific ones. How do you answer that question? I already made it with Professor Riccio. 
Thomas Leber, all of you. But it's, it's would, true that it's a question that we nowadays I would are say, asking. I would say in the well-developed places, institutions, this is uh, considered. Yeah. Not always to 100%, but for example, um, uh, say the data sets for research at a certain university, I don't mention it, uh, they develop it and they, of course, when they come to the issue of publication or patents or institutional uh, issues, uh, uh, do you have laboratories or not, they have to differentiate between different disciplines. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this has to be incorporated into the, in, in the core data set. In that sense, it is there. And it's not like, uh, say, uh, in the Stone Age, where you said, uh, if you don't have, uh, I don't know, 50 publications per year in a uh, Scopus-based uh, journal, you cannot compete uh, scientifically. It's different in different disciplines, of course. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, considered. Uh, if we go further, uh, the research core data set for Germany, which is already there, but further to be developed, and there's also this serif, the European thing, this could be issues where agencies could come together, together with the universities to think about whether we use the same data. And as soon as we use the same data and then the same performance indicators here and there, yeah. we can compare our activities. And then the rest is about legislation in a sense. This is a bit, I mean, black and white. I don't prefer that usually, but the rest is legislation. There are differences which, which have to be um, yeah, okay, who considered wants for sure. Thank you. Who has the answer to that question? Maybe uh, the question would be, uh, do we have the tools for it? I mean, do we have the same tools? Well, one plus uh, one, yes. It's easy for me because I escaped the problem because we asked the universities, how do you know what yeah, kind of code have do you to have? Do it, don't you? <laughs> and what, what are you basing that statement on? And, they, and usually in the big university, they would come up with different methods for different faculties. Uh, and that That's way right. being able to, to sort of taking care of that sort of differences. Mm -hmm. Antonio Orecchio. I am a lawyer and I come from humanities fields. <laughs> and, the, and my colleagues, Marilena, that works with me, it comes from social sciences for humanities. So I think it's more difficult to evaluate products coming from uh, social uh, sciences and, and humanities, of course, because we don't have H index. Uh, and of course, it's very if it's difficult to introduce that criteria. But you, you, we used peer review method. And of course, we have a, a lot of discussion to, uh, to perform this method of evaluation is not easy, I think. I, I agree with the, the question, of course. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, that uh, comparing experiences and using uh, different criteria to, to, to perform a remit of evaluation could be uh, important for our activity of evaluation. Uh, evaluation is not a static activity, but day by day, it's changed. It's of working course, on. It's yeah. working on. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think we have to, to 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 be, 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 be to can understand that mm -hmm. that opportunity that I think is is an opportunity is not just an obstacle. Okay, I would like your answer, Petre Noskivis. Then I have a question for you coming to my tablet. <laughs> Please. Uh, I think that the evaluation of the different uh, sources for the research it is very important because. Uh, we have one, one, one point, this is the uh, money which the university have got for the so-called uh, so collaborative research. That means the activity was ordered from the company, from the industry, not from the, these are not uh, money from the state budget. So, And uh, really the technical faculties and in engineering area, this budget is much more higher than in the mentioned of social course. area, etc. And for example, I am uh, originally from the technical university and we have also one school of economics and uh, six tech engineering faculties. And these faculties are very strong in this activity in the collaboration research. And from this point of view, we can say they are excellent, but it is not possible to say they are excellent and they know, yes, it must be compared really in accordance to the condition in this field of the research. Mm -hmm. I guess this you can all say it. Yes, my question for you, um, not mine, but one coming for you. What is your definition of the quality, oh, let me see, <laughs> I lost it, of the, um, of the quality for Anvor 
of the evaluation quality results? What is your definition? That's the question. <laughs> quality is a concept that is not used just for our agency, but is our value, is a value for institution, and is the, the best way to promote the university system and the university's value. So if we, uh, quality and evaluation activity is the best way to give value to our institution. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that answer. And there are other questions. Let's go on with them because uh, they are coming online. And of course, if they are in the audience, we also be happy to answer them. Um, Finalement, okay, okay, so it's stayed in French again. Um, <laughs> at last, what are the, the common missions of the European agencies as talking about uh, research evaluation? Since someone is seeing that you maybe you have, you have different point of views and different sort of uh, existing. So what would be the common, common missions between you? That's a good question, I think. I think that uh, what is common and typical for each university is that the, I would say, workers in the research are the PhD students, yes. And this <laughs> is the challenge for the very good master students to start the career as the researchers and to uh, start to do PhD studies. And I think that it is common for the all, all universities. And uh, the question is the economic science of the PhD students, because sometimes in different countries, the systems are different. Uh, they can get the scholarship from the university or from the That's Ministry right. of mm -hmm. Education, but this is really the scholarship. And if the young people want to establish their family and to start the personal life, they need to, in the money, in this case, the very important are the projects because they can be paid as the young researchers and they can earn more money. And this is the, I would say, the best condition for the young people because they can focus on the research work and not where they get the money for the life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and next, the internationalization of the research work and especially not only at the level of the professors, but also at the level of the PhD students, it is important, I think. Okay, thank you. Yes, Anders or Ron. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be interesting to explore whether we could uh, find a path to a common uh, European standard and guidelines for research, part one. Uh, that would be- <laughs> Because you think that's not so bad to be different. No, I think independently of the differences, you would need a part one of the of <laughs> European course. standard guidelines. The only thing that differ between us is who is who is upholding it. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be that would be create a, a common mission among us. Okay, how about you? Your answer? Yeah. Um, first half of the answer is yes. Uh, I think there are some um, say um, promising issues already there, which I talked about, this research core data set, which is really there, the serif, which is really there, the evaluation criteria, which are really there on a European and also transatlantic level, uh, and are used and they can be worked out further. And that, that could be, I mean, it's not called ESG and maybe we should avoid this name uh, and uh, should think carefully about uh, what the name is and uh, how to standardize it and so on. Okay, but there is, I think there are promising um, uh, issues and, and beginnings for this. Uh, of course, the internationalization, for example, is a, a research topic in, uh, uh, in a commission for research information in Germany, which has been established last year. I'm a member of this. And we are, I will take this information to the commission to, to think further about internationalization issues, standardization issues, and so forth. Uh, the other point is I would like to add before I stop, uh, what, what is the common goals of agencies? Yes, yes, uh, I mean, because... not of agencies, of research evaluation, which is a difference. I do not talk about uh, ideas or interests of agencies. They may be different. But research evaluation, I think, uh, has a, a, the basic issues like research, pushing out the frontiers of knowledge and technology and ethics. That is innovation. This is very complicated. It's very fundamental, but uh, therefore it is complicated. But I think this is the common thing we are all we all agree that upon. Concerns this. Your... We only differ in uh, leg legislation, uh, sometimes a bit in criteria. But I think we have more in common 
uh, with respect to criteria, as may have been uh, clear from the discussion now, I mm -hmm. think. You want to add something? Yes, Professor. Yes. I, I, at the moment, I think that just few agencies are uh, devoted to evaluate research. Mm, probably a, a number very short of our, of our agency. But I think that, that uh, in the future, probably we can use uh, research evaluation uh, for, all, for many other agencies. So it's very important to discuss, to share experiences, to make some uh, uh, ev evaluation of our activity, uh, to evaluate our uh, activity evaluation the research, I think it could be important. And uh, I think that uh, in the perspective, we can adopt, uh, according to uh, Amboldianan method, research and deducted evaluation as mission of our agencies. Okay, thank you for these answers. Um, okay, I have another one, but I was willing to ask it myself um, about the money, raising money, as you said, uh, uh, Petre. Um, what are the consequences, direct consequences of research evaluation on uh, the financial aspects? I mean, uh, if they are, if they are, I mean, are they really effective or not? Who could answer that question? Is it a direct link, direct link between? Uh, the effectiveness of the research money, how they were spent and used, this is one criterion which is also evaluated uh, in the frame of the methodology of the mm. Research and Development Council, yes. That means uh, if the money were used in the suitable way and the, the corresponding goals were achieved. Yes, this is yeah. one of the criteria. But would it change, would it change the, the aims? I don't know, would it change the, the research? I, uh, if we call about consequences, I mean, it, hardly speaking. Yes, sometimes, for sure. Sometimes, I, yes. I yeah, think okay. it, is, uh, it is a differentiated view we should have um, because there are so many types of different research evaluations, as you already also mentioned. You are evaluated when you make a proposal to the FG, for example. You are evaluated here and there. You are evaluated externally, maybe, yes, and sir. so on. And this has then different consequences to the money uh, or, or budgeting. Uh, for example, uh, when Everlag would do an evaluation, uh, uh, one of the basics is that it should not be directly linked to funding. Uh, because we want to have a free evaluation, so to say, but this is of course different when when the fun, when the evaluation is directly in the proposal project con uh, concern. So uh, then there there is a direct consequence on funding or not funding. Another case is when the science council, for example, evaluates uh, Helmholtz or Max Planck, not the whole, of course, but some some uh, some sub organizations or some sub projects they often clearly say this is uh, not perfect and this means then usually you have another three years to make it more perfect or otherwise the project dies out so th there is a consequence then sure thank you for that answer yeah i think so um do you have some questions or comments in the audience because uh, these are our last minutes and we will conclude in short time just be free to ask for the microphone side. Yes, you, you wanted to say something, Antonio Ricchio. About your, your last question. Yes, uh, important in, one, in, I guess. In Italy, we distributed 1.5 billion euro under the results of uh, evaluation of research. Then we distributed the other uh, funds under, uh, to the excellency department that are um, considered uh, even after the result of our, of our evaluation activity. But we don't evaluate how they spend their money, this money. So uh, only in the in excellency departments, we have a control of their program of, uh, of investment. So it's very important not only to evaluate research, but even to evaluate how, how the, they spend it. Of course. Right. In the morning, you said that the, uh, the people have to control uh, the cost of our system. And transparency is one of our values of, of our university system. And I think that a evaluation agency have, have this mission too. And they should do it. Maybe more, more of them should do it. Another with the instrument okay. to, 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 to make control. OK. Who I leave the conclusion to? And the other room? Up to you. 
for the future to have a sleep in the third world. We have so much fun. in common. We have also some differences. And I think we should work on the European idea uh, for the European higher education and research area. And there are some things to do. And others can be just improved. Maybe extend also the, the number of uh, agencies evaluating. Yes. Depends Question. On, depends on the market, so to say. I mean, I would not make this a first premise. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. Thank Thanks. you very much, all of you.